Hey everybody, uh, so, look, I'm playing Minecraft, huzzah, um, oh, I've got iron, isn't it iron pick, uh, and I'm, I've got my charcoal going, I just started my mine, this is a new world that I intended to film when I was creating it, but that I just started playing and I was having so much fun. Because I have not played mine type crafting in a while. And uh, didn't realize how much I missed it. Didn't realize how much it means to be able to mine the crafts. Uh, but indeed, it is a glorious thing. I know I can drag these around and make things more quickly, but I... I feel artisanal when I'm actually placing each and every ingot. Uh, yes, and I know it's pronounced ingot and not ingot, but I'm being fancy. I'm a fancy in my pantsy. Don't worry about it. Oh, also, <laughs> I'm Hatsune Miku. Don't ask so many questions. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I am creating this video primarily, oh, why do I still have a dingus wooden sword? I do need to go topside, I don't know what I shall find there, oh, I only, I know how to make things. It's been a minute since I've done some mine type crafting, but it hasn't been that long. Um, oh, it's gonna be night Where's my bed? Is it still up here? I don't even remember. It probably is. I probably didn't move it yet. So I should probably hurry before monsters inhabit the entire area and go sleep myself into a slumber. Oh, frick. <laughs> I don't remember. The sun is going down. Anyway, oh, it's right there. I did not need to be concerned. <laughs> But I was concerned because I didn't remember how far away I put my bed. Because I found a good spot for mining. And I am like a dwarf in that mining trumps all. And I just, you know, once I get in a good mine space, I don't, I don't do anything else. And uh, it becomes increasingly troubling to watch my gameplay footage. Uh, because you're going to be like, why, why is he only mine? Why? And it's like, Hey, it's half the name. It's more than half of what I do. Anyway, regardless, this is what the outside looks like. Get used to it. You're not going to see it for a while. Typically. Uh, oh, this is my first round of gardening. I'm a little hesitant to because this mamma jamma is underdeveloped here i'll start from this side and maybe it'll grow by the time i get there it won't but you know hope springs eternal uh anyway so i probably lured you into this video uh if for no other reason than uh that i pacha ha ha okay um yes these things are true my aim is true you should know that of all people allison uh anyway regardless um so um i have been engaged in some uh things some behaviors, some activities, some goings on, uh, when it comes to, uh, this channel and the things therein. Um, yeah, I've been, uh, doing some stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna plant up this coastline, deal with it, coastline. Anyway, uh, so, uh, I've been doing things. I've been after it a little bit. 
Oh, he died. Well, I take your sacrifice of ink sacks, good sir, and I doff my cap to you. Did your friend die too? What the junk? <laughs> I come outside for two seconds and then all of the octopi run aground. Anyway, uh, let's not dwell on their grisly and gruesome final moments. Let's get ourselves underground where we belong. Um, anyway, so, yes, things of a channely type matter and whatnot are most certainly afoot. Uh, and I need to bring you on board all the things that are going on, uh, because here's the deal. Um, so I have never been the sort who is like, I shall build myself an empire, you know, like, uh, I've, I've never been like, uh, in it for any other reason than the love of the game always. And I mean, my channel is not that big, but like the, the fact that there are 500 people in it is stupefying to me. Now, I understand why most of the 500 people are in this channel because when I put out video content, I don't get 500 views per video because most of the content that I put out is of no interest to most of the people who follow my channel. And I understand why. Uh, and I'm perfectly okay with it because it means that they are gamers like me who like get the thing that they need to get and then they play the games that they're going to play and they are grateful for the experience and they don't dilly dally on things that don't matter. You know, I would say that is my guess by and large as to some of the unifying traits of the people that I think have joined this channel primarily because uh, I started putting out my Steam uh, buying guides. And, you know, as I'm realizing that we're getting closer to the winter type seasons and the Steam winter sale and summer sale are literally the bread and butter of this channel. Not in the sense that, like, that's all that matters to me. It's not. Like, what really matters to me is uh, playing my games that I have, appreciating what I have, and appreciating, like, the situation that I am in. Because, like, I have gotten multiple free video games this year from people who watch this channel. And I've also had the wonderful opportunity to pass along several free video games. Uh, and there's going to be something like that probably sometime in the future. I've decided that I like the way that it went last time, where I think that uh, the games went to people who appreciated them, and uh, all the codes got taken. And I think that's the best that we've done because the last couple of times, the way that I did it, I ended up with some unclaimed games. And because I wanted to give them the full benefit of the doubt as to how long they could wait, like some of those went really unclaimed. And I don't know if the codes are still good or not. Um, and also, you know, I feel like I bound myself to the giving away. Sorry that I'm just staring at a furnace while I'm talking about this. Cause I'm thinking about like, you know, when someone gives me games to, uh, work with, to give away or to, you know, cause if you give me, uh, game codes, just know that, oh, and by the way, someone developed a game that I need to show on this channel. There is a game developed, I believe, and I could be mistaken, but I believe it was developed by someone who watches this channel. And if so, like, it's a really interesting idea. Um, I think it could be refined a little bit, but like, 
you know, for what it is, it's a really interesting idea. I, I hope to show this soon on the channel. Uh, so yeah, that, that is a thing, uh, that should be coming down the pike is that someone among us, like someone, one of our very own number, uh, created a thing which, uh, I have played and I think is pretty cool and I'm going to show it on this channel. And by the way, if you are a maker of things and you want me to use my small as it is platform, uh, for talking about your things, uh, by all means, like absolutely. I, I was just coming outside to see whether there were mobs, because I'm thinking about things that can only be gotten by killing of especially spiders. Anyway, regardless. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, there have been some good things with this channel. And, you know, but my motivation is always like, uh, I started this channel because I ended up with entirely too many Steam games, the vast majority of which I did not purchase for myself, uh, but were due to Russian hackers having taken over my account and purchased not with my money, by the way, because I had not linked anything to my account at that point. Um, there's got to be, yeah, there's got, oh, shh. Whoa. I was just thinking about these guys because I was like, hey, I wonder if there are any of those guys yet. Oh, there are. And one followed me. I was literally looking for them because <laughs> I have armor now. And so I was like, oh, I wonder if I could kill me some of these pillagers. Uh, but I, I, I was looking around and I saw, wait, where's his friends? Friends of Pillager, where are you? I'm out in the open. But I saw this like formation over here and I thought, oh, that looks like Pillager banners. And I actively looked and was like, are those Pillagers? And then I manifested, it's the secret. I manifested a Pillager. Anyway, uh, I've been speaking for 12 minutes, and I think it's about time I say something. Uh, because, uh, yeah, 12 minutes is a long time to speak without saying anything of any substance whatsoever. Uh, so, let's say things of substance having to do with the current state of this channel and some things that are coming down the pike. Aside from a game that was made and emailed to me, by the way, I am horrendous at checking the email account that is linked to this YouTube channel. So just know that if you ever reach out to me that like it might be the better part of a month, you know, <laughs> like it just that's the reality of the world in which I live. Um, anyway, I'm going to pause my game so that I can show you this. And I know that this looks very boring. It looks like a spreadsheet. And that's because it is. It is a spreadsheet. But what is it a spreadsheet of? And why in the world would I show you a spreadsheet? This is a thing that I'm putting together. These are all of my Steam reviews. Now, I don't have all of them on there yet. Uh, I have the first 84 Steam reviews that I have done on here with game title, genre, and I ha I limited myself to just one because I know that when it comes to like, uh, by the way, like you can take any one of these, you go to data, you go to sort, and then sort it. So now I've got them sorted by genre, you know, and I can sort them obviously by score or, you know, by comment or whatever else I wanted to sort it by. What I should sort it by is title. Uh, so, yeah. I have all of these games uh, currently reviewed. And here's the thing. Is that when I go to put together my list 
for my uh for the games that I am showing off during the Steam sale. Now, I got a lot of suggestions from a lot of people about things I should include. Uh, somebody was like, hey, you should include, like, you know, because you have things that are on on sale but are not at an all-time low, and you, sh you would have been better off buying it two weeks ago when it was at an all-time low, and I would prefer if you, like, showed that as well. And I've looked into that because I'm open to suggestions always on things that will improve this channel uh, without unnecessarily complicating my life because as always you know i am not a capitalist i am an anti-capitalist and so i do this as a person with an interest you know i don't do this hoping to become myself a corporation you know unto myself uh whose interests i uh, am solely concerned with above all else like that is not what i'm hoping uh, to ever become, uh, not that that's ever been offered, <laughs> by the way, like, nobody's like, we would like to offer you substantial monies to do this thing that you're already doing for free. Uh, no one has offered, and, uh, quite frankly, I wouldn't know how to respond. I am starting to hit some of the critical, uh, things about, um, you know, I can't have sponsored advertising in my uh, feed. They already show you ads, probably, I assume, because they're YouTube. They already show you ads during my videos, and so, like, you have to put up with that. But, uh, yeah, if those ads that already have to happen in any way benefited me, like, that would be okay with me, but, like... Uh, also that's complicated. Like I, I would have to look into like, am I ruining people's experience <laughs> by throwing in advertising and whatnot? Because like, I hate ads. I hate them so much. So, uh, and I assume any reasonable person feels the same way. Uh, it, and so, yeah, like I'm not, w what I am trying to communicate the most is that I'm not thinking of anything unrealistic or absurd. Uh, what I'm thinking about primarily is that I have a group of people who are interested in, like, this is the, uh, what you call it, uh, Venn diagram of, you know, people who are interested in my channel. You know, people who like Steam games, people who like vintage games, uh, and people who like to save money on both of those things. And I think the people who want to save money on both of those things demographic makes up like 90% of my audience. And so like, I, I would like to serve that function as best as I can, because it's also a function that I benefit from. You know, if I'm out there looking for deals and things on games that I know I'm going to like, then I'm doing myself a service. It's something that I would be doing anyway. And so, yeah, I th that's the function that I perform as I see it. Sorry that this is very like, you know. I'm giving you the black sweater Steve Jobs talk of a channel with a relatively small following that will grow again soon because it always does. Whenever I put out my, um, you know, uh, yeah, whenever I put out my, uh, the, uh, steam holiday sale, big sale or winter summer sale, uh, buying guides, whenever I put those out, my, viewership subscribership on the channel always increases by about 200 and then it drops by a hundred <laughs> after people realize that i'm not just like constantly being like and there's a deal on this and a deal on that and it's like i there's not always a deal <laughs> like there's sometimes where it's just steam and you pay full price and the game is good and you feel okay about it 
anyway, regardless. Uh, but yeah, you know, in order for me to put those videos together the best that I possibly can, it behooves me to actually do this so that I'm not forgetting, because there are plenty of games as I was going through this list, you know, just even in the 84, but I started from the very beginning of my channel. Um, but those 84 that I've done, there are a couple of games that I'm like, oh, I've never included that on a list because I forgot how much I liked that game, you know? <laughs> And it wasn't until I was re-watching my old videos that I was like, oh, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, I should recommend that to people. So this is going to benefit you. I know that you're staring at a spreadsheet and you're like, couldn't you be staring at a furnace in Minecraft? And it's like, yeah, I could, could, but I'm not. Uh, because the other thing I want to show you is that, and these are not populated yet, by the way. <laughs> Um, but I also have them for my retro reviews, Atari, NES, Sega Master System, Genesis, SNES, PS1, N64, Dreamcast, Dreamcast, DOS, uh, and PC type games, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. These are the systems, like I have more systems than that. These are just the ones that, uh, I can get footage of easily through emulation primarily and i know that a lot of the other ones i could if i wanted to like maybe get a hard drive specifically for the holding of the game files of like later you know of like ps2 uh you know and uh gamecube and original xbox and like you know starting to get into that era <laughs> like i could capture that footage in emulation it's just i don't have a hard drive to dedicate to the holding of those roms specifically i know they wouldn't even be roms they'd be like isos and stuff like just rips of the actual disc anyway regardless that's getting entirely too technical and i apologize to those who do not care about such things um but if you didn't know you like some of those consoles are getting quite expensive uh you know there are ps2 games like um duh. there's a ps2 game oh what's it called uh it's a D, &D property uh, Champions of Norath. Anyway, that's the one. Thanks, Brain. You remembered. Uh, yeah, or Chronicles of Norath. I forget. Starts with the C of Norath. You know the one I'm talking about. I think it's Champions. I could be wrong. Uh, but anyway, really good D&D, uh, &D, you know, uh, type of game from the PS2 era. It's super much fun uh, to play but try and get a copy you know it's 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 like it's not even the most absurd to get ps2 game that's just a game that i had to shell out for not that long ago and i had to pay 20 bucks for it and it's more now than it was then uh so yeah like um if it is hard for you to get those games, like there is emulation and computers are increasingly capable and emulators are increasingly good. So play things in emulation. I highly recommend it. Uh, don't break the law, he says, but emulate things with backup copies. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I mean, actually, the funny thing is that all of the th games that I am playing uh, for my vintage games thus far, they're all things that I have actual physical copies of because I have a lot of vintage games because I bought them when they were cheap. You know, I, I was buying Atari 2600 games when you could find them at Goodwill and find them at yard sales and whatnot. And people would just be like, do you want to take the box for 15 bucks? And you'd be like, yes, yes, I do. 
uh you know and then i'll have three copies of combat but oh well you know um yeah and same with nes games for a while and then snes games like uh i used to find like uh rare fairly rare ps1 games i have a black label copy of uh castlevania symphony of the night as well as the greatest hits copy green label copy uh but i got my black label copy at a yard sale for like five bucks <laughs> so you know by the way by the way if if you're thinking about this and you're like die should have bought games when they were cheap yes i was lucky i wasn't even thinking about like saving myself money i don't look at these as by the way i should go back to minecraft for a minute uh, or for a, a while because here's the other thing like i do not think of video games as investments if i purchase a game i intend to play it and so I play the game. I buy the game because it looks like something I would like. And uh, then I play it. <laughs> and that's why I have the games that I have. You know, there's been all this. And that sounds dumb. It sounds stupid that I even have to specify like, oh, I actually like video games. <laughs> I don't just buy them. Which is does it would not make any sense except for how the stupid video game market has been where people who don't even care about video games are suddenly realizing that they are valuable properties and then you know now like uh i haven't watched the latest carl jobst video but like you know apparently that is collapsing and partially due to his work and the work of some uh, intrepid journalists who should be thanked as well, you know, because like, uh, things are only worth what people will pay for them and should only be worth what people will pay for them. And so like, I was explaining this to my son earlier today because, you know, I took him to buy a bicycle that I'm going to fix up for him for Christmas, you know? Uh, and I'm very excited about this because I'm doing it for both of my children and for my wife. And then we'll be able to go on family bike rides. It'll be awesome because it's a very bike friendly town uh, where we were before it was kind of bike hostile a little bit. It was less, I mean, yeah, less suitable, less friendly, uh, just less good for bicycling where we were before anyway yeah i should be doing these four high i don't know what i'm thinking doing them three high that's absurd uh anyway regardless but um yeah i was explaining to my son who loves the game panic restaurant which he's not wrong that's a really fun game i have not showed it off yet because it has not come up on the wheel but maybe i should just show it regardless Oh, by the way, here's the thing to know. Uh, there is a game that I tried to play. Oh, and this ties into the other thing that I really need to say. Uh, but yeah, I have a game that uh, when I originally tried to play it, it would not play. And all of the complaints of people on the, in Steam were like, you cannot play this game in Windows 10. It just will not work. And that was generally speaking true. But someone wrote, and this reminds me of uh, Mega Games back in the day. Like, I mean, Mega Games is still around, I'm pretty sure. But they used to do the no CD cracks and stuff. And I would do, no, like, I was not pirating that many games back in the day when you could pirate games or, or when pirating games was, like, the new exciting thing. I would just prefer to wait, you know, and let the Diablo battle chest get a little cheaper where it costs exactly as much then as it does now. Uh 
which is hilarious because it's an old game anyway regardless uh but yeah i i would wait on stuff but i didn't want to have to have the wear and tear of having to always get the disc out because i realized back then that uh disc media is fragile <laughs> and should be handled as such you know because it's not as robust as we wish it was you know like we wish that uh disc media was like oh it'll last forever and it can totally get scuffed up and still work and whatnot like uh uh it's not that simple uh anyway <laughs> so um and yeah i have not suffered disc rot or anything of the sort but like i have always had an interest in preserving the quality of my disc based media which is why all of my consoles are modded like <laughs> i've modded every disc based console we have going back to like my dreamcast is modded my dreamcast doesn't even have a uh it, it doesn't even read cds anymore it it just has been replaced by an sd card reader which is a very common mod very cool uh one, two, three, four, five, six. uh and not hard to do either uh, really simple and straightforward and you if you have a Dreamcast you should probably do it same with my GameCube like because Dreamcast and GameCube disc readers GameCube's a weird format and Dreamcast is like yeah also <laughs> it's just hard to replace uh, the actual disc reader in Dreamcast and they fail frequently um and so yeah i just took the disc readers i do have two dream or two game cubes i only have one dreamcast but i have two game cubes one with a disc reader and one without and the one with is working perfectly and the one without its uh disc reader had gone bad so like yeah i was that's how I got that particular GameCube for cheap. And immediately knew that like, oh, you're selling this to me because it's broken. It's about to be not broken. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm very happy with that entire process. So yeah, I was saving discs back in the day. And Mega Games, they had the no CD cracks. <laughs> Anyway, so this game that I tried to play back in the day when I first started this channel and that game didn't launch and I was so disappointed because I was so excited to play it. And by the way, it is a PS3 era game that was sold in the uh, PlayStation Store. So, yeah, it's, it's an e-store game. It's a... You know, and how much draw? Oh, diamonds! Yes, the diamonds are mine. I need to go back, and I need to. That's how I know I'm mining on the right level. What level is that? You ask. Boom, negative fifteen. That's how low you have to go now. And also, by the way. That is why coal is dead. You will not find coal at this level, so you have to make charcoal because otherwise, what are you going to do? Have a coal mine on a different level and your actual mine on this level? Stupid. You killed coal, you buffoons. Like, <laughs> just have coal go down lower. It makes me angry. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be so angry. But it is my least favorite thing that they changed with all of the, like, <laughs> new updates that they've done. You know, everybody was so excited for the caves update. And that was the first thing I noticed. I'm like, oh, you killed Cole? That's terrible. Like, you shouldn't do that. 
uh, I will miss Cole. And everybody was like, but the games. And I was like, you don't understand. <laughs> like, I do the mining. I just mine mines. And I need iron to smelt all of my things. And to cook all of my meats and stuffs, I need to have something, the, the wherewithal to cook stuff. And uh, yeah, that turns out to be charcoal. And that's why I always keep a forest topside, which is stupid and it's more work. And thanks for nothing, Microsoft. Mojang did it better. Yeah, that's right. I said it. Mojang did it better. <laughs> so yeah. There you go. Uh, so. Oh, anyway. Uh, yeah, all of these things that I'm telling you. Uh, so I do have uh, the uh, do 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 do. Um, oh, hello. That's lovely. I should have put a candle and done the little candle trick. But I didn't expect... No one expects the Spanish cave-in of gravels. They don't usually. Typically, that's very normal. No one expects that that would happen. Let's see. One guy. <laughs> uh, there's going to be more gravel. Bah. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to be able to play that game because someone created a cracked EXE that runs a script that tells the game to only engage four of the cores on your computer. So, like, there's a workaround. Like, you can actually get it to work in Windows 10 as long as you are not running more than four cores <laughs> which like if that is the case then your computer is not doing a great job of running windows 10 therefore complaints about like the game not running are probably not going to register as much for you because you just you're not gaming you're just trying to email and barely getting that done uh anyway uh, so, um, pacha, gravel, <coughs> boop a doop -a -doo. Oh, that's right. I need to put one right here. Uh, so yeah, that game is going to get reviewed soon. Uh, should be the review that I put out this week. I've not filmed it yet. Normally, I would have. Normally, I would not only have that filmed, I would have it uploaded. But I spent my lots of my weekend time putting this together. Uh, and by the way, don't feel bad. Don't think like, oh, that sucks that he has to do all that data entry. I love stuff like this. <laughs> like... I love giving myself projects like this. My wife does not love that I always do this to myself, but I love it. That's why I used to be a librarian. Like, this is the librarian in me being like, and they shall be in order, you know? <laughs> like, we're going to put them all on a shelf, and they're all going to be in order. Like, it's... Uh, it so speaks to the librarian and me and anybody else who has librarian tendencies. You're like, no, put it in the spreadsheet. Oh yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but the beautiful thing about the spreadsheet is that I will make this available to you. Uh, so if you are ever wondering like, oh, what score did he give this game? Did he ever review this game? You know, like... Uh, you can actually access this data and sort it however you want. When it comes time for me to uh, figure out, by the way, here's some things that I did. 
black is removed from steam red is a bad score yellow is a uh score and green is 75 percent or above score which means it's good unfortunately like why they remo remove blaze blue calamity trigger i mean it's getting a little long in the tooth it's not the newest blaze blue game but like it's still fun 83% for me. Removed from Steam. I don't know why sometimes. Uh, now, I gave way too many 100%. And I gave one of them 110%, which, like... Okay, Adventure Pals is super cute and so fun. And if I could recommend one game to everybody who ever visits this channel, I would say Adventure Pals, A number one, top of the list, like... I love this game, and I wish it got way, way, way more love than it currently gets. That and Cave Blazers, by the way. <laughs> like, I am all in on Cave Blazers. Uh, you know, it's not that I haven't heard of Spelunky. I have heard of Spelunky. I know all about your Spelunky, and I love it, and I think it's great. But does that mean that we have to just skip over Cave Blazers and how good it is? No. We, we can acknowledge both. Our world is big enough. Anyway, regardless. But yeah, just think about it. You will have access to all of my reviews. All the time on a live list that is constantly being updated so yeah it's gonna be a thing that you can use it'll be handy for your life uh, at least I hope so and if it's not it'll at least be handy for my life because I'll be able to sort and be like okay I'll just I don't have to look through every game uh, like I did last year where I looked through all <coughs> like 300 some odd games that I've reviewed. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to look at the games that I've reviewed that I really like, and I'm going to uh, make recommendations for those. And yeah, and then maybe some of the yellow games, maybe some of the like high ranking yellow games, but like whatever. Uh <laughs> Ultimately, it'll help me make really good recommendations. Now, there's another thing that I need to uh, bring up that I'm fixing. By the way, sorry that this video is so long. Uh, I will uh, make a too long didn't read version of it. Um, and that way, people who want the too long didn't read version uh, can get that and enjoy it. Uh, anyway, so yeah pause real quick and and i'll show you another thing okay uh let me mute this but do you see do you see this video that's happening right here how uh this is where the gameplay is and the rest of the most of the screen is just black uh yeah that is how i used to uh create videos <laughs> Well, if the video didn't show up right, which like I have now fixed and actually OBS has done some of that fixing. And then I myself have been like, no, no, <laughs> always full screen it in whatever opens here, like that just full screen it always so that when I go to capture footage of whatever I'm capturing, like uh it just knows like whatever the active window is full screen it you know so that's why my videos are a lot better now than they were back then this one just as rambly by the way because so here's what i did i went back through i re-edited the footage like I downloaded, like, I got the raw files of the video, and uh, I re-edited them, and I stretched, but it's, uh, I've looked at the completed video uh, before I uploaded it, and it looks reasonably decent. Like, it's not, 
as good as it could have been if I had known what I was doing from the beginning, but it's significantly improved because I do get people who are new to this channel who will go back or like people who just, they're looking at the review of the game that they themselves are interested in, which like I get a fair bit of that because I've done a lot of reviews. So it might not even be someone who is a follower of this channel, perhaps, uh, but I will get comments where people are like, why don't you fix the footage? <laughs> and I was like, well, I had difficulties back then. I'm sorry. So if you look in the comments that I made originally, it was like, uh, what are you going to do? I didn't do a good job back then, but I'm trying to get better now, you know? <laughs> and that was kind of my approach. But now I'm like, uh, I have the wherewithal, I have the ability to make this better and it's not going to cost me very much work. I mean, it is one of the many things that I accomplished this weekend. I accomplished many things this weekend. Uh, Re-editing these is one of them. So you are going to see multiple old videos get posted this week and they will be rambling messes in terms of the footage and I will just give games a hundred percent because I'm like what what could you do to make it in any way shape or form better and I'm not even considering that like <sighs> okay uh Cat Goes Fishing is a really good game, and it's very fun, but is it as good as Skyrim? No, it's not. Like, because the whole question of what would you do to make it better, it just... Some game premises are better than other game premises. Like, Skyrim is like, what if we created this massive world in which you could do just about anything? You know, become a vampire, become a vampire hunter, become a freaking, you know, werewolf, become a werewolf hunter, uh, like, become the enemy of the thieves become the one who runs the thieves like be all sorts of different things like you could just do what you want to do uh you know let parthenax live or be an unforgivable excuse of a person and how could you and i have questions uh but like you know skyrim you can choose lots of things and so it is objectively a better game, you know, like that's just, you can't argue that it's not just objectively a better game anyway. So like back then I was running on the logic that like, well, if there's nothing that you could do that would improve this game, then like it must be a hundred percent. And it's like, just because you couldn't make a better like a uh, cat quest or whatever else I gave a hundred percent to like, doesn't mean that cat quest is the greatest game ever made, <laughs> you know, like it's yeah, I did not acknowledge certain realities. And so going back, it bothers me. So I even noted by the way, uh, <laughs> score too high, but not by much. Like, I, I have, like, too high. <laughs> this is a game that I gave 100% to. Oh, that's Cave Blazers, which is a beautiful game. And I think I was being, like, super reactionary because I was like, well, people are all about, uh, you know, um, Spelunky. Why, why don't they be more about Cave Blazers? And it's like, <sighs> Spelunky's got some things going for that K Blazers is not. K Blazers is still a very good game. And to the premise of what K Blazers is, there is nothing that I would add. It is the exact best K Blazers that K Blazers could be. But is it better than Spelunky? I would have to say no. Objectively. <laughs> you know. That's what matters to me now. Uh, back then, I was like, willy-nilly, <laughs> you know? Uh, so, yeah, I, I have fixed these things. Anyway, so you're going to see multiple old reviews go up this week, as well as a review that will replace a review 
where I just BS'd my way around and was like, well, the game won't launch, so I'll just talk for five minutes. It's a terrible video. It's worse than this one, if you can imagine. Uh, and you can't. Let's see me play Minecraft. Look at this. There's a furnace. It's not even burning. Not even a burning furnace. Is this... N Are you not entertained? <laughs> anyway, regardless, I'm getting silly and ridiculous. Uh, but yes, things will be good for this channel in ways that they... In, in ways in which they have previously been merely okay. <laughs> so... We are setting stretch goals to stretch ourselves to... Actually, what is the concept of stretch goal? Oh, it's for like crowdfunding. When you're like, ah, if we make this much money, then I will put your name in the liner notes. <laughs> then you go to the liner notes and it's like, these are the people who had enough money to pay for this. <laughs> it's like joining the who's who of American or of American high school seniors. Like, we are the noteworthy ones whose parents wish we were, like, in more notable things. But our parents are very much concerned that we'll have nothing to put on our resumes. And so we are in America's most notable who gives a craps. Anyway, regardless, I apologize for the length of this video. I apologize for the rambliness of this video. Uh, I may or may not have been enjoying my weekend as an adult who is of a certain age might. And uh, yeah, that do be a thing. Let's see what we can do about diamonds. What do you think? Is it gonna be just the two? We're going to get an eight rocker. That's what we call it in the biz. Call it an eight rocker when you get all eight squares in which a diamond. Ooh, buddy. Buddy, what are you doing? Did you just notice that I was not? Oh, I think she looks like an eight rocker, boys. <laughs> That's, that's what we got here. We got us an eight rocker, boys. Oh, oh, it's a seven rocker. It's a seven rocker. That's pretty good. No one, no one looked down their nose at you. You come home with a seven rocker. That's still, still pretty good. It's just, I haven't had an eight rocker in a while, boys. And man, Man gets a need for an eight rocker every now and again, just to remember that he's alive. Anyway, uh, if you made it this far, congratulations. That reenactment of whatever has been brought to you by the fact that you hung in this long. What are you doing? If you don't have this going in the background, please, for the love of God, seek professional help. Anyway, like, if you have this on the background, like, you'll be like, oh, yeah, it would be absurd. Like, you're just nodding, going, like, yeah, it would be absurd if I were just watching this, watching it happen. Like, whew, I ain't got that kind of time, buddy. Uh, yeah, yeah, as it should be. Anyway, uh, but that's just a little something for those of you who stuck around. Uh, anyway, I'm going to do a too long to read version of this uh, for everybody <laughs> who deserves more respect than the length of this video gives them. You know, <laughs> like, you deserve better than this, people. I know that. You know that. Uh, anyway, so um, if you made it this far... And I know exactly two people who actually might. Uh, I want you to comment in the comments. Now, remember, this is not because I care about comments. I'm not looking to, like, boost myself artificially with comments. Because I assume most people will not make it this far. 
Therefore, me asking for a comment is asking for, at most, two comments. Uh, anyway... <laughs> So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, so if you made it this far, leave a comment down below. And uh, I will recognize that uh, you definitely had this on in the background because it would have been absurd otherwise. That is true. Anyway, people, hey, uh, if you made it... Uh, you are the wind beneath my wings. It's true. Did you ever know that you were my hero? <laughs> that you're everything I hope to be? I can fly higher than an eagle. I need you to know that I possess a... That first of all, I have the capability of flight. <laughs> Number one. I can fly like an eagle. And not just, you know, time slipping. I'm talking about like... I can fly like an actual eagle. Not metaphorically. I am saying that I can flap my arms and soar unto the heavens like on the wings of an eagle. Except it is not on the wings of an eagle. It is my own self-powered flight. Anyway, regardless... Uh, I present myself as a case for study. Science, you know where to find me. The University of Science, please hit me up. You know my home address. The University of Science, they definitely exist. Otherwise, why would they keep asking for alumni donations? Yeah, that's right. You think I didn't go to the University of Science? Of course I did. That's why I have one of the most mushy scientific minds of our times. Anyway, uh, one of the most egg-headed heads of all egghead, egghead having. The most, the most egg, eggy of heads. Anyway. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I thank you for having been here. I thank you for your silliness in having spent this portion of your life with me. And, uh, I wish you all the best on your future endeavors. Uh, may you succeed with a plum, uh, which is, uh, not the thing you think it is. It is a type of fruit that is moderately delicious if it's not too mushy. Yeah. A plum. Anyway, regardless. <laughs> oh, this is the worst. I apologize for all of the things. Anyway, people, thank you for being here for this. Sorry that this was an hour of your life. And I will see you in the next two times. Oh, okay. Bye.